We just used Elmer's glue to make this crackle paint to help us make these giant chess pieces for some game room art. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're making some giant chess pieces with some chippy paint. Yeah, so we've been requested to make some game room art. This is gonna be a gift this holiday season. So we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna take this canvas using this chippy paint technique and make some amazing wall art. With some giant chess pieces. Yes. They're gonna feel really royal. Yep. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a large canvas. We have two of these. They're 24 by 36 inches. And we're using this one that says level one. It does have this cross brace in the back. So I think it's going to do a great job holding the MDF and the weight of the MDF. We looked at the heavy duty canvases, but they were like twice the price. Oh, yeah, and I didn't price. think we needed that. So we're going to go with this level one version. We needed some quarter inch MDF. This is what we're going to make our giant chest pieces out of. We're going to need some Elmer's glue. I know you have some at home from that slime that you made. So it'll be perfect for this paint technique. Then we'll need like three colors of paint and some liquid nails to put the chest piece onto the canvas. Now liquid nails is a brand. We're going to use this Gorilla Glue heavy duty construction adhesive. Same thing. Same thing. I think this is really going to keep these chest pieces on this canvas. Step two, we're going to make all of our cuts. I'm going to bring this quarter inch MDF over to our 80 watt OM tech laser and we're going to cut out our chest pieces. Then I use 10 millimeters per second at 75% power. The bed on the OM tech laser is 24 by 36, so these pieces fit in there just fine. These things turned out great. Look at that. They're beautiful. I can't wait to see them on the canvas. Oh yeah. Step three. Now we paint, but not with this brush. Not yet. We're gonna first put a base coat down on our canvas. We're gonna use that crackle finish. So what we wanna do is have contrasting colors with our top paint coat and our base paint coat. So we're gonna, this one's gonna have an overall white finish at the end. So we're gonna put some black down on the base. We're gonna add some red. We're gonna give it a cool, kind of dimensional feel yes between yeah. that crackle finish we're going to start since we've got to cover the whole canvas we're going to roll this black on this base coat on then we're going to come back and add our red so don't be shy with this paint because we've got a lot of surface area to cover here Now that our canvas is dry, we're going to add the red. We're just going to go ahead and use this roller that we have because it's already wet. And we just want to add some spaces on here. This doesn't need to be thick. We just want to cover some of the surface, not all of it, with some red streaks. Right, you want to do it? Time for the Elmer's glue. Hey, it almost stayed on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna roll some of this Elmer's glue all over the front of this thing. Oh, maybe on the sides of this thing. So what we're looking for here is a medium thickness of glue. It doesn't need to be full of glue and it doesn't, you don't want it too light. We're going to paint over this while it's wet. So instead of using a foam roller, we're going to use this nappy roller. It holds a little more paint, and in this case, glue. And I feel like I can cover a large surface area at one time. So great. Yeah, I think I can see on the camera there that you can see that I'm putting a nice, like, medium thickness coat of glue. Okay, can you guys see that? Now we have to work quickly. While this is wet, go ahead, 
introduce step five. <laughs> mm. Step five. Time for the top coat. We're just gonna brush on the white and we're gonna try to keep the brush strokes going vertically. Now, this is, this is what makes this technique work. The fact that you're using the brush and you're using the brush strokes. So just like that, that's good. You're gonna want this one also kind of a medium thickness. You want a nice thick coat of paint. You don't want it too soupy, but you want it thick enough that it will have enough paint to crackle as it dries. Okay, maybe moving on. Put it on the canvas. Okay, yeah. Alright, now while our paint is wet, we're going to use a hair dryer to dry it. This will crackle naturally, but you know us, we don't have that kind of patience, so we're gonna go ahead and dry it. Speed cracking. Step six. Oh. Ooh, time to paint the king. <laughs> We're just gonna roll him with the black paint. No special technique on, on the actual pieces. Just solid color. Yep, we just want them to be like their own statement piece. While the king is drying, we're gonna move on to the queen. We're gonna do her in opposite colors. We're gonna do a white backer with a black top coat. Second verse, same as the first, but opposite. That's right, we're gonna start with our base coat. We're gonna add the red underneath in this one too. Glue, black paint. Let's Chip. do it. Step seven, time to assemble it. We're gonna use that Gorilla Glue construction adhesive liquid nails. That way we know it won't move. We're gonna throw it on the back of the king, flip them over, press them down. We'll do the same with the queen. It's looking so good. I'm so excited. Pretty big. These babies are big. Chick mate. Yeah, they I look gotcha. beautiful. They are such a statement piece in a game room. Yeah, I really like how the white crackle came through. Yeah. I mean, it looks, it doesn't even look like this is on canvas. This no. Looks pretty this cool. Is, I can't, well, we're going to do more with this technique. Yeah, we are doing we're a gonna lot do, more. Yeah. I love and, this Elmer's glue thing. That's and I have going another on. version of this, the try, that's going to look a little bit like leather. Ooh. And I have a crocodile one. So Ooh, we crocodile. got some fun paint techniques coming up here at the beginning of the year. <laughs> but these, these look beautiful. Yeah. I mean, so cool. These are really going to make a statement exactly what. Um, we wanted. I think this is perfect. Yeah, but I think that red looks lighter than this red even though it's the same red. Yes, I can see that too. I think this red is on that black base and so it comes out as a much darker red and this red is on the white base and so it's keeping that red pop. So to make these reds the same, I, I would keep that as it is. I love mm -hmm. that color um, except we I would use a darker red here because this has this just gets darker on the black base, yeah, so agreed. I that's my little lesson learned there. But other than that, that also, it came out exactly as planned, yeah, exactly as we envisioned exactly it. Exactly how they go. So And you know who else goes exactly as planned? <laughs> Our patrons! 
Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. Uh, this week's the Zoom call. Yeah, actually got now, it right this time. Now, now, yeah, finally now it's, it's here. Now it's the Zoom call. <laughs> Jason had to keep me straight. All right, so we're about out of time. I gotta go start editing. You gotta go start trying out some chippy paint, crackle, crackle paint. And we gotta get these babies where they belong. Yeah, we gotta get these wrapped up and ready to go. Ooh, I'll give one a balance before we go. Oh no! It's like a good luck balance. Good luck. Right, yeah. Ooh, almost crossed our commission. <laughs>